Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Erica Parr here with photographer Jim Trotter. We have several pictures. Before we went to break, you talked about the Missouri Valley Conference. This is uh, recently, we every year we produce these pictures that they give as awards. Mm -hmm. And these are people who are achievers, and the Missouri Valley Conference wants to uh, So here's a showcase. picture. Okay, now this is down at the you know, Peabody Opera House uh, earlier this month, and we took these photos from back in the day and then turned them into artwork. So oh, okay. we start with a photo, and then we actually do computer painting on top of them. Mm. And then, uh, you know, Missouri Valley Conferences. And those are awards. Yeah, there are six people that get awards every year, and then as part of the award memorization, I guess, or the, they give them that. That's yeah. lovely. That's a so, lovely award. Yeah. So we have more photos that we can. All right, I can. Yeah, I just go show. through and I show you now. This is uh, every year, one to two months. We're down in Metropolitan Square, mm -hmm. and we have this very nice showcase in St. Louis. This is one of the premier spots to showcase your artwork, and. Basically, uh, people look at my artwork there and I get some sales periodically. What know? I love about it, though, even just looking at this photo, is that how vibrant all the colors are. Yeah. And how it looks, when we were talking um, off camera, I said, why does this look different? Why does this look different than what, you know, yeah. it's so much more vivid. Well, when you're taking a picture in the computer, mm -hmm. you can produce uh, more saturation in the color. Mm -hmm. Like in a lot of cases, uh, if the sky is gray and you want it to be blue, you can change the sky. Enhance it just yeah. a bit. Yeah, so I take and we liberties. Have more pictures too, I take I liberties think. to enhance you know, right, that's every, what everything. Saying. Like this one. Right. Now, <laughs> this was an interesting photo. Uh, it was taken two times. First time it was taken when the buildings had some light, and then two hours later when the fireworks went off. Then I stacked the two pictures together. Jim, it sounds very detailed. It's more... <laughs> it sounds like Photoshop. Very, and if yeah. you look at the cars, you can see some movement in the cars, but this is an 84-inch print. It's in my studio. Okay. So we, we even have we, some of your artwork here in correct, our studio. Yeah, you guys... We uh, have more pictures, too. Right. Uh, oh, that's lovely. City yeah, Garden. Right, City Garden. Mm -hmm. uh, the client called me on uh, Christmas Eve and said, hey, Jim, can you shoot my picture? I did the lighting. I said, oh, Okay. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I did it. Well, I had our eat. Okay, so. now what's this? That's the okay, new bridge. Okay, now this is one of the new ones. This is the Musial Bridge. Yeah. And one of my clients said, have you seen it? I said, well, no, but I'll go look at it. He said, yeah, it's cool. It's lit up at night. Mm -hmm. People don't even know this is in, you know, St. Louis. But that's from East St. Louis looking back. You'll see the arch in there uh, on the right side hidden in there. But Stan Musial Bridge is... Uh, latest landmark that, that I think. How many landmarks have you done over the years? Well, in the book, there's approximately 200 landmarks. That's in your most current book, right? Right, right. Okay. And I, I leave the ones like that are still here, but like when, uh, say, the arena went down, mm -hmm. then I took that one out. How do you choose your landmarks? It has to be beautiful mm -hmm. and something that people can say, oh, that's cool. St. Louis is a wonderful place visually. It's an exciting place to... Uh, Those are your only in. two criteria? <laughs> pretty much. Uh, pretty much. I mean, it, it, that's a tough criteria, though. It has to have, say, some significance. I mean, uh, some historical significance. So, uh, you know, I look at something like the arch, of course, which is the prime one. Right. Yeah, what's, yeah. what would be one that people might not even consider? Well... Oak Grove Mausoleum, how's that? Is that crazy? <laughs> if I could find that for you guys, it's in the book. But this is a mausoleum that's off St. Charles Rock Road, and it's just crazy. It's built with these, I mean, all of marble. Mm. Mausoleum sounds terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it sounds beautiful, honestly. It, it is very cool, and I'll find it to you, Erica, later and show okay. you. Okay. But that one's very unique, and uh, there are several like that that are in the book, so... Uh, you know, I love that. The best of St. Louis, Jim Trotter. How can people reach you? Well, uh, you know, of course, Facebook. Right. Everybody's on Facebook. But uh, there you go. There's my address. Uh, TrotterArt.com. They can call Erica and say, Erica. <laughs> they can call you, 314-878-0777. But, yeah, if they call me, I'll definitely right, recommend yeah. you because your Creek photos Creek. are beautiful. Yeah, Gallery out in Creep Court. Oh, so okay. You, you should come out and visit. I should, yeah. yes. I would love that. Artwork all over, and we print our own images. Okay. 
And we have a photo studio, so... Uh, Maybe you know. I can bring my new baby girl. There you go. Take some there pictures. All right. Well, thank you, Jim, All right, so Erica, much. Nice I really with appreciate you, you coming. Thank you. Right. Thanks Love for your Love it. To see more of Jim Trotter's work, visit trotterart.com. There's more STL Live right after this. Stay with us.